having a visit from the Kwanzaa Fairy. <laughs> Hello, people. I know you might be thinking, who is that black girl with African clothes? And why does she have a black power fist wand? <laughs> that is because I am the official Kwanzaa Fairy. Now, a lot of people don't know the holiday called Kwanzaa. And to be honest with you, I did not know it either. <laughs> but I have to tell you that they pay more than they do down at the mall being the token black elf. <laughs> now, Kwanzaa was created by a man named Dr. Karanga. He has decided that no black child should think that a fat white man brought presents to his house. <laughs> that in fact, we needed our own made up holiday. <laughs> so he created Kwanzaa. Now we all know Santa Claus couldn't fit into an apartment building and that the NYPD would probably shoot him before he was able to make his first delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill the messenger. <laughs> now I would like to share with you some of the magic powers of my Black Power Fist Kwanzaa wand. <laughs> this beautiful wand can turn everyday items into Kwanzaa items. Let me demonstrate. Here we have regular white bread. <laughs> and here we have Kwanzaa bread. <laughs> Notice the color change. <laughs> here we have white sugar. Y'all will be familiar with it. <laughs> Here we have Ponza sugar. <laughs> and finally, I know y'all like your white chocolate. Well, now we have Ponza chocolate. Ponza chocolate. Pass it around. <laughs> your communities uh, and share with that one black friend that you have. <laughs> happy, happy, happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> My melanin challenge, brothers and sisters. Happy, happy Kwanzaa.